Hi everyone, Danielle here, Right Body For You facilitator and Access Consciousness 3-Day Body Class facilitator. And did you know your body has a voice? What do I mean by voice? Is it the voice inside your head that you hear once in a while? It's not exactly what I'm talking about. What I am talking about though is your body is a source of information and guess what? It is constantly giving you that information whether you're listening or not. Communication with your body should be as subtle as a breeze. The second any energy shifts and changes, you should be able to go, Ooh, I hear you, body. I receive that. I understand what you're telling me about something 10,000 miles away, but I, I get it here. But what do we do in this reality? Nope, can't hear you. Not listening. Na, 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 not listening. And so our body doesn't give up. It goes, okay, let me turn it up. You require this information, let me turn it up. So your body turns it up. And what do we do? Sometimes we don't listen even more. You know, we we keep going, na, 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 I can't hear you, I can't hear you, body, da, 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 da. Whatever the reason and justifications we have, we do this. And so what happens is the body turns it up and up and up and up and up and up until communication with your body can get to the point of what we call pain. Pain is your body's last step to trying to communicate with you. Because let me ask you a question. What happens when your body is in pain? Your knee hurts, your elbow hurts, your shoulder, your head, your stomach. What do you do when your body hurts? Yeah, you stop. You pay attention to it. You start asking questions, hopefully about what it would take to shift it, change it, heal it, make the pain go away. So what if pain is just your body's uber attempt at communication with you? Because it actually is. So when next time you have a pain, if you would ask, okay, body, what awareness are you trying to get? What body, what awareness are you trying to tell me that I'm being stubborn and not listening to? you might actually be surprised at how that can shift and change some of the pain that you and your body are experiencing, okay? And this is not a tale to scare you. It's actually a tale to help you and encourage you because the more you're willing to receive that information from your body, the more you're willing to have that oneness, that communion, then guess what? It might actually shift and change some of that pain in your body as well. Because remember at the beginning when I said communication with your body should be as subtle as the breeze? That is one of the targets with all of this, is that you can constantly get that information from your body and it doesn't have to get to that point of pain. So truth, what information are you refusing to acknowledge from your body that you're already receiving from your body that if you would acknowledge you are receiving it would change everything in your life and body that you're asking for. Anything to allow that? Destroy it and create it. Right, wrong, good, bad, with pocket online, shorts, boys, and beyond. All right, I'm out of here. Hope you enjoyed this communication with your body because you know what? It is actually one of my favorite topics to talk about. Let me know if you have any questions. Danielle, and have a good one. Thanks, everyone.